and I'm going to jump in now and show you another one of the new filters, uh, which is the levels and curves. So I need to click add filter again, make myself a new empty filter slot, and I'm going to click levels and curves. And this is very recognizable to those of you that know Photoshop. Uh, we all know what a what a curves dialog does. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to do a selective edit. If I was to click on this curve and drag down, you can see that that's going to darken the whole image. Now I don't want to darken the whole image. I want to darken just one particular spot on the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these control points. Now this is um, a Nick Software patented technology, I think. They they invented this and they, they made a plugin called Viveza, which is very good um, for selective edits like this. But they've brought this same technology into all their plugins. So if I click this control point plus button, I can now target this edit onto the hair over here. Now, let me explain to you why I'm going to do that. I'm going to just put that control point on and then I'm going to click this tick next to levels and curves just to turn that layer off for a minute. You see how in the hair we've got a little bit of a bright spot over here that I don't particularly want to draw our eye too much. So I'm going to just darken that, that spot down selectively. So let me turn this filter back on. Now you can see here's where I clicked. I can click and drag this point around. And if you look in the loop down here, it's going to show me exactly where I'm targeting it. And that matters because where I put that point chooses a color and it's going to select a portion of the image based on the color and brightness of where I place that control point. Now I've got two sliders next to this control point. I've got the top one here which controls the size of the region that it's going to affect and I've got another one here that, that controls the opacity of this edit. So what I do here in the in the curve, so let me drag that way 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 down and you can see that's now looking pretty awful there. I can back that off with the opacity slider if I want to just choose a use a, a portion of that not all of it so you can with one levels and curves area and multiple control points you can do different varying edits on the same image uh, now I don't need to do that here because there's only one area I actually want to darken down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the opacity all the way up at 100% and I'm going to just set my control point to be about the right size and I'm going to drag my edit point uh, my curve up and down I'm gonna make that edit just a little bit larger there we go and drag that up and down until I've just darkened it to where I want now if I do the turn that particular filter on and off you can see there's the before and after and it just evens out the light on the hair so that's quite a nice start um, I also want to do another little brightness edit with another le levels and curves but this time I want to brighten you see how this l this left eye here is a little bit darker than the right eye. Um, I'm going to just sort that out. So I'm going to click Add Filter again. And I'm going to choose Levels and Curves again. And this time, I'm going to click on my control on my uh, curves and I'm going to brighten a little. Now again, that's affected the whole image, so I'm going to use a control point. And this time, I want the control point just in here in the dark areas because I want to target the dark areas in particular. It will affect the other areas to some degree, um, but I just want to affect those dark areas. Now I'm going to zoom in because that's a little bit too hard to see at the moment. So let's just mess a little bit with this with this sli size slider. Now it can sometimes be a little bit hard to tell what's being affected. So there's another little trick in here that's useful for figuring out what you're actually selecting with these control points. If you see next to where it says control points, there's this little triangle. If you click on that, it reveals some more controls. And so I've got control point one, which is the one that I'm working on. And we've got, uh, it shows the size of our area. And I've got a little tick box up here that says show or hide selection of control points. So if I click that, it's actually going to show me now on the on the uh, on the image what I'm selecting now what I actually want is to, to lighten the whole area a little bit um, and you know just you know maybe the, the darker bits a little more than the light so that that selection there is looking pretty good to me so I'm going to turn that back off I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to just take a look at this so I'm going to turn on and off the curves layer and we can see that that's just lightening that eye up and it's going to make those two eyes match and I can just tweak that a little bit I think I can go just a shade brighter 
just to try and get those two eyes to match. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Now there is another area that I want to lighten up here, so let's zoom back out, just pressing the spacebar. If I hold down the Option or Alt key, I get a little plus symbol on my cursor look. And if I click and drag on that control point, I can copy it. Uh, so I've now got a duplicate of that control point. I'm just going to use the the size slider just to because I want to keep the detail on the knees there um, and also in these uh, beads here but I don't want uh, too much that, that that's too much brightening so I'm going to use the opacity slider to back off the strength of that edit there and that's now just bringing back a bit of data in the knees and in those beads there and I'm going to do one more edit holding down the alt key clicking and dragging that edit point and this time I want to brighten these these blue beads here so I'm putting it on one of the mid tones in that area and as I drag the opacity up and down you can see those beads behind the where it says opacity are getting brighter and darker I'm going to dial in the brightness I want on those and that's it that's that that's that done so those are our three control points to lighten things up we've darkened that little bit of hair and uh, I think we're looking pretty good. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. <laughs>